Hi guys. Uh, so I had a couple students that were kind of confused about how to do this recording thing. Um, it's really simple. Um, you got to keep it as simple as possible. Um, you're going to need two devices. One device to play the track that you're going to be listening and playing to, and another device to record you. Um, now the de these devices can vary. Uh, you can use iPods, you can use tablets, you can use your laptop, you can use your phone. Um, the device that you are playing the recording off of needs to have headphones attached to it. Okay. The other thing you need to have is a quiet area. Okay. Needs to have some good lighting. Okay. Watching you play or sing in the dark is just not any fun. Okay. So you'll sit and after you've practiced and played through it a couple times, record first. Okay. Then you'll hit play. Then you play through your piece. Okay. And then you give yourself a second, and then you stop it. I can um, edit the beginning and the end to where if you're nervous or whatever, it, that won't necessarily be part of the video. Okay. Um, this is an optimal setup, a chair or stool, a stand of some sort um, with your music on it. Your recording device can be set on your stand or where you have your stand set up. Um, if you have another way to prop it up or another way to put it on something or if you have somebody that is willing to film you, um, that's a little better because this is, it looks weird and if you point your bell directly at your recording device, it's just going to sound really bad. Um, so for woodwinds, this is fine. This is a fine setup. Um, for brass, I would either move it back or have somebody else record you or like put it off to the side. Like I said, Music stand is optional, op optimal, not optional, optimal. Um, but we're going to go through a couple things that you can use if you need to and go out to a couple different places that you can film that would, that would work for you. And I know this is going to be hard because of the situation we're in, uh, but just do your best. If there's some background noise in it, it's fine. If there is a really excited little sister or brother or niece or nephew or cousin or what have you that's excited to hear you play and they make noise during it, that's fine as well, okay? That's stuff that I can go through and edit out if I need to, okay? So don't be worried about that. All right, so next thing we're going to do is show you some different ways that you can have a music stand and different places that you can record yourself singing or playing. As you guys know, I use my iPad for my music. Um, but the first thing you can do, obviously, is prop it up, okay, against the wall. Now the other way you can do that is by putting it on a clipboard and propping it up against the wall, okay. You can also tape it to the wall. I've got some, like, chip clips that you can put to the wall with thumbtacks, okay, that can hold it. Um, that's just one option. Another place you can go has optimal lighting and is kind of private, is your bathroom. It's really weird, I know. Um, and I'm not going to show you my bathroom. It's kind of atrocious right now. Um, but I do have another idea for what you guys can use for the music stand. So take your music, clip it on this fancy little thing, and then hang it on the wall. You can hang it like right here. I can hang mine right here and play like this. Um, you can also hang it on a tack on the wall. This fancy pants hanger is your next best bet because you can hang this anywhere, okay? Um, as well as having a clipboard or something uh, more sturdy that you can tape your music to or clip your music to. So, so for my vocalists, the lighting may not be the best, but the shower, like the shower stall, is your best bet for great acoustics. So another great place is obviously going to be your room. Okay, Nice overhead lighting. Nobody's going to bother you. You can shut the door. Um, and please be courteous and say, hey, i got to record this thing. Please, please, please leave me be. Okay. And as you close the doors and turn off any distractions, it's a good place to play acoustically. Not as live as the bathroom, still a good place to play. Another great place to play or try and play um, is next to an open window 
or a window that can let in some light. Um, not optimal, again. Um, where I have it anyway, it's a window that's not facing the sun right now, so it's just kind of regular light coming in. Um, but I do have a table in front of me that I can set my music on um, and set up my recording device that way. I can also kind of just lay down my listening device on the table in front of me, and that's helpful. Another great place, place to practice is outside. Um, this is my backyard. The problems out here are going to be the wind. It's going to be the lights funky. Uh, I got a tarp over here. I got dogs over there. Um, so optimally, this would not be my optimal situation. Uh, but for you, it might be. You might have a nice quiet backyard, no distractions, no people. Might work out pretty well. And the cool part about being outside is that you're outside. <laughs> you're not stuck inside. Um, not saying you should like run around and go find places to do this. Um, but right here would be more optimal than say standing over there. Um, again, I have a table in front of me that I can prop up my music. Um, right now the dogs are being quiet, so that's something I would have to contend with. Um, and there's no street noise out here, so it'd be great. So this here is my battery shed. Uh, acoustically, I think this would work just fine. It'd be like practicing in a practice room. Um, I've got a little bit of light coming in. I'm not out in the wind, although the wind is moving this house kind of funky and making a lot of noise. Um, so just things to think about when you're recording. All of that background noise is going to hinder your performance. So bedroom, bathroom, in the house where it's quiet, those are your best bet. Okay, just giving you options of places to go and record. We can also use this as an acoustics lesson. So, um, the tighter the space, the more your sound can bounce, right? Out here, you may not be able to even hear this very well, uh, just because my sound has nowhere to go. Well, it has everywhere to go. Um, so just keep that in mind. Basically, what I'd like you to take from this is improvise, adapt, and overcome. Um, this is not something that's going to be perfect. <laughs> this is not something that your whole grade hinges on. This is not something that anybody's opinion of you hinges on. This is something we're doing to come together. Okay? We are all in this madness together. I know we're apart, but we're all feeling the same way. Okay? You're important. You really are. Um, not just to me, you're important to a lot of people. Um, please, 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 please remember that. Okay? I miss you guys so much. Um, I miss the noise. I miss the music. I miss the bad puns. Um, I miss you. I miss seeing you guys every day. Um, so don't think. Don't let your brain tell you that nobody misses you and nobody wants to see you. We'll get through this together. Adapt, improvise, and overcome. Hold on to that thought. So I can't wait to see your guys' compositions and listen to you guys play and then put it all together for you. It's going to be exciting. Have a nice rest of your day, guys.